After the contribution to the New York World's Fair, construction resumed on New Orleans Square land and was completed in mid-1966. The celebration was grand, very festive, and included a special ceremony with Walt Disney and the mayor of New Orleans. A visit to New Orleans Square would not be complete without sitting down for a delicious meal at one of the many eateries within the jazzy land. There are several to choose from, but all are worth every penny spent. In 1966, there were four restaurants to enjoy. The French Market, the Mint Julep Bar, Café Orleans, and Royal Street Veranda. The French Market Restaurant is located at the far front corner of New Orleans Square, near the Disneyland Railroad train station. The restaurant is connected to the exquisite ironwork that can be found throughout the land's buildings and provides outdoor seating. It has a lovely view of the rivers of America and often offers a live jazz band, which adds to the ambience of the market. Within the layout of New Orleans Square are several known facts, as well as not-so-hidden secrets. Disneyland has so many details uh, added to New Orleans Square to make it more magical and feel realistic, like the masts and sails that were added to the top of the buildings that you can see while standing at the Rivers of America looking down Royal Street. Uh, you can see the masts and sails, and it looks like there are ships that are docked in the harbor. Originally, uh, when they were building New Orleans Square, there was a large basement area below, and that's where the pirate ride was going to be. The entire ride was going to be just below New Orleans Square. And it was going to be a walkthrough. And Dad, as early as the late 50s, had designed a layout for walking through what was really a pirate museum. It wasn't really a ride. It was a groups of 40 people going through and seeing uh, vignettes of pirates sacking a town or going through the pirate ship or the grog shop and all these different elements of pirate life. Yale Gracie was hired at the same time I was to work at WED. Yale was a, a layout man. And so we were put into a great big room and uh, we were to just come up with ideas that might go into the mansion. And so we did. We spent a solid year developing illusions and doing all kinds of wonderful stuff. We had this big room where we blocked off all the windows with big black pieces of material. And so it was really dark. And we, we did a lot of UV lighting, you, you know, yeah, black light on a lot of the monsters that we built. So we were doing all kinds of crazy stuff in there. 